Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. And in this episode, uh, My Two Cents, uh, I'm gonna talk about mugs and I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, this mug right here. This is the MSR Titan Kettle. This is one of my favorite mugs. Um, one of the things I like about it is it's, um, it's kind of short and squat, so it makes it really easy to get in here and scoop things out. Uh, titanium mug, of course, nice pour spout, has a locking handle, kind of works, not, not really great, uh, but a great lid. Again, another nice feature is, you know, these lids that stay put when you want them. Uh, one thing I really like about the MSR Titan is it's just got a little bit more volume. I think this is uh, 850 milliliters. Uh, so when you get a 700 milliliter mug, I mean, 700, 750 is pretty good. You can do some cooking in. I mean, it's a little tight squeeze if you wanted to make like some ramen in it or something like that. Uh, the 850, the extra 100 milliliters is, is really nice to have. Uh, the MSR Titan kettle is compatible with our Snow Leopard Senior. So I've been doing a couple of these series on um, unboxing and talking about mugs, and there's actually a bigger picture I want to talk about because a lot of these mugs are good. It depends on your needs. So what I started to do was I started to come up with this uh, price performance curve. Now, when you look at performance, I broke uh, performance up into three major topics. And within those categories, I broke it down a little bit more. So number one is weight. Number two is um, reliability. And number three is ease of use. Now I have a certain amount of bias because um, weight a couple ounces here is not gonna be a big deal. But when I look at it, when I look at evaluating mugs, I think about taking mugs, like if I'm gonna go on a trip seven to 10 days, a long trip. So when, when I start looking at that standpoint of view, reliability becomes very important. And then once you're past reliability, it's ease of use to me because you're gonna be using this set of equipment out there for seven to 10 days, uh, you know, twice a day. You wanna make sure this thing's easy to use. So based on these categories, I started to evaluate these different mugs. And let's talk about some of these different categories. So let's talk about weight first. So in the category of weight, this is probably the easiest category in the world. What you took to do is to take the lightest mug pot that you have and you give it the highest value and the heaviest give it the lowest. So the obvious choice is the lightest mug or cup you can use is a beer can, something like 1.2 ounces. And the heaviest is something like this Stanley, you know, uh, adventure mug, which is uh, pretty nice, but it's stainless steel. So it's pretty heavy. So the clear winner is weight is beer cans are up here. Stanley Adventure Cup is here. Everything else is scaled in between by weight. Ease of use. Ease of use, I look at a number of uh, parameters, including um, how easy it is to cook with it, what the cooking surface was, how I'm gonna pack this thing, and a number of other things. So the winner in that case, in my view, on, on just a single category, was the MSR Titan mug. Real nice mug, 850 milliliters, rock solid folding handles, very nice. The loser, the worst, is the beer can. Um, I have problems when I think about cooking and ease of use, is that this has got the uh, plastic coating on the inside. I think there's limited things you wanna cook in it. Um, it is very difficult to clean. I can't get my hands inside of this. And from a packing standpoint of view, um, just not very good to pack up and, and use. So that's worse in class. And looking at the uh, last category, which is reliability, uh, this one actually was pretty easy as well. Uh, the Stanley stainless steel cup, extremely reliable. This is a bulletproof design. There's not much you can do to this. This is gonna survive all kinds of environments out there. Uh, the worst from a reliability standpoint of view is beer can. Again, the can itself is just very, very fragile. So from an re overall reliability standpoint of view, stainless steel cup versus the beer can.
So you take the three aggregate scores and you, you know, reliability, ease of use, and weight. And I've, I've got some weighting factors in there as to how I count one more than the other. And you plot that out versus price, and this is what you get as a chart. Now, think of this chart like cars. So at the very top end, high dollars, you're getting the most performance. That's like buying a, a Lexus or an Audi or something like that. On the bottom end, you're getting something, you know, small like a smart car or, you know, some Geometro or something down there. And what really, it really doesn't matter the price point. What you have to do is look at that curve. And what you have to determine is what, how much performance do you need? Setting the performance will give you an idea of where you should start looking. For example, if you're, um, you know, if you're a super ultralight person, uh, ease of use isn't that big of an issue because you will deal with something that doesn't have a handle and doesn't have something easy to pick up with because you can always grab a bandana and pick it up. What you're worried about is weight and, and weight, basically. And so that performance and weight, that shifts all downward. If you want something that you can cook meals in and you want it to be robust to last a long time, and then that pushes you up in the upper end of the scale. What's interesting is to look at products that are off that straight line that deviates through there. So there's a couple of things, and, and, and it kind of makes sense. One of the mugs that tends to underperform is the Snow Peak 600. There's a couple of things that are obvious about the Snow Peak 600. Number one, it doesn't come with a lid. And so that makes it a pain. People are buying aftermarket, you know, lids. And the second thing, the volume is just a little small. Now it's perfect for some of the people who are going out solo and are just rehydrating meals. But if you want to cook some soup or something else in there, the 600 milliliter is a little small. You look on the other end, some of the products that do well are the uh, Evernew 500 does well. The Tokes does well. In fact, what's interesting to me is if you look at the Tokes 700 compared to the, uh, the Snow Peak 700, it says that it's a better value. And, and, it, and it makes sense. It's a little less expensive, but it's also got a nice lid to it. And the ease of use of using that is pretty nice. So this is the start of looking at price performance. I've only have a smattering of mugs here. Um, if you want, send me information on your mug and I will put it on this chart and we'll just start filling this out and see where mugs fall. Come visit us at www.flatcadgear.com.